Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp and I want to share my workflow on a Mac for assembling um, assembly Z80 assembly for the Spectrum emulator. Now I've been doing this on Windows and I've been using a program called Spin, which seems to be pretty good. Um, the editor is not so good, um, but it does um, mean I can compile straight into memory or assembly assemble straight into memory, um, which makes the workflow pretty tight. On the Mac, there didn't seem to be anything as good. Um, so this is what I've come up with. Forgive me, I'm still kind of early days assembly. Um, I'm still working out this workflow, but this seems pretty good to me. Now, um, I'll include links to everything, uh, all the programs I refer to. Um, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code here. Um, and I have the uh, Z80 um, uh, language uh, um, included. It doesn't have any... Um, doesn't have any IntelliSense, um, but it does have syntax highlighting for the instruction sets and comments and so on. Um, I have included an editor config and I have a plugin in VS Code that follows that, uh, which is telling it to use tabs and uh, eight uh, width tabs so that I get this decent alignment when I'm using labels. Um, and once I finish writing my assembly file, I have a make file to do the uh, compiling. So, um, what the make file is, the make file is trying to compile this connect4.tap. So I do need one per project at the moment, but I'm sure I can work out a way of uh, streamlining that. So it'll try and make the uh, connect4 ROM file based on um, this directive, I guess. Um, and um, I'm using this program, this assembler called uh, uh, ZASM, uh, passing in the Z80 flag so it uses that instruction set and giving it the file name. And this will generate the .rom file. Um, I'm just cleaning up the tap file. And I'm using another program called uh, mctrd, which will create a tape file, which is compatible with Fuse, or in fact, any um, emulator, as far as I know. So we uh, create a new empty file, and then we add the ROM file into the tape. Now, my workflow in uh, VS Code is to bring up the um, inline terminal, okay? And um, I'm using another program called uh, Enter, which will watch uh, specific, a specific list of files that I pipe to it and run an arbitrary command um, when those files change. Um, I think what, there is actually a watch. Uh, no, anyway. Um, so again, I'll include all the links to these programs. Um, so here I'm piping uh, the file name um, connect4 to enter, and if I run it, there's nothing to be done, but let's change the uh, the title to uh, capital connect4, I'm hitting save, and it recompile the tap file. So now over to fuse, and this is where I would have made, I would have finished saving my, um, my assembly, I want to load it into fuse. Now for the first time, I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, load it into, uh, into fuse, so I'm gonna load the tap file, and then I'm going to write a short program to actually read that into memory. So I'm going to do 10 um, load, if I remember which one it is, J. Um, I don't know why empty quotes. And then I'm going to go into the extended keyboard, which is control shift. And then I need code, which is I, um, and then 50,000. And 50,000 is referencing uh, this uh, number here, which is where I've organized the assembly to start running from. And then I'm going to do 20 uh, clear. 30, randomize, back into the extended keyboard, so control, shift, and then USR, or user, 50,000, and then we're ready to run. Um, so this is running it for the first time. If I want to make a change, um, I have to reopen the entire tap file. So let's go ahead and make it all uh, capitalized here. So I'm just hitting save. It's recompiled. Um, I'm just going to do command O, grab that tap file and then run. And that is how to completely flush the memory and get it working again. So the actual workflow is just uh, command S to save the assembly, command O to reopen the file. Um, I'll possibly throw away the, um, the ROM file because it'll just mean I can get to the tap file faster, hit enter and then run. So it's a few key strokes together, um, but I can't see another way of getting it into memory faster. Um, but hopefully that's useful to anyone else out there doing the same kind of thing as me.